you are going to learn how to make this picture. This is called steel wool. It lights on fire pretty easily and it'll just make sparks. You can also use a 9 volt battery if you want to. Rub it against it and it'll light on fire and start making sparks. But we can't just hold it while it's making sparks. We're going to have to put it in this guy. We're going to attach it to a cable. We're going to put the steel wool inside of the whisk. Light it on fire. Cable and start spinning it around. Then I want to make sure that you're outside and it's during nighttime. Another thing that you're going to want to make sure that you're not doing is lighting it uh, maybe on top of dry grass. Uh, don't light it above some gasoline or something stupid like that. Spin it around in the middle of the road because asphalt is not flammable. You can also do it safely right after it rained for a long period of time in the grass or anywhere outside. Put your camera on a tripod and then switch it up to manual mode. You're going to want to adjust the shutter speed to about 30 seconds. The aperture you can experiment with, it depends on what you need, and the ISO as well. <clears throat> I usually start off at ISO 200 and F8. Now how are we going to focus in the dark? What we're going to do is grab a little LED or flashlight, whatever you want to use, and put it in the middle of the place where you're going to be spinning the wool. Focused up on this little point, and then I switch the camera to manual focus. So after you got all that done, you're going to want to light the thing on fire and spin it around. You can spin it around really, really fast and the sparks will go way out there. Or you can spin it down slower and the sparks will just kind of plop down onto the ground. And now there's different types of steel wool as well. Now over here on the yellow side, you've got just zero. The sparks are pretty big when they come off of it. Oh, you got quadruple zero. Don't get one or two or three or four. There's not much of a difference uh, between the zero and the quadruple zero. And just kind of expand it and make it all poofy. Now after you're done putting it in the whisk, all separated and poofed up, when you burn it, it'll burn with more uh, sparks. This is because uh, more oxygen is being allowed through the wool or a hat to protect your hair from catching on fire. Wear long sleeves, uh, wear long sleeves on your legs as well. Also, if you want to, use gloves. Goggles are a good idea as well. And having a fire extinguisher nearby is also a good idea. I've spun steel wool before and when I thought it was all done, I walked away to get a new steel wool and then when I came back I noticed that the grass on the edge of the road was caught on fire so I had to go over there and jump on it. Stuff like that can happen so it's a good idea to have a fire extinguisher nearby. Uh, some really cool locations I like are the beach. Uh, this is kind of bad though because it causes a lot of attention when you're spinning this around and it also causes cops attention and I got kicked out. So you might want to keep that in mind. Uh, tunnels and underground um, structures are really cool because you can spin the wall and it hits the walls of all the structures. But always make sure you wait like maybe, I don't know, five minutes after you leave the location because a little spark could land on a little piece of grass and in a few minutes it could just burn up and cause a very large fire. So you do not want to be responsible for that.